If you're an AI artist, then more than half of your time goes to staring at the screen while your art is being generated, while listening to your VGA cry. But what if you could cut off that time by scheduling your generation? You could schedule a few generations, go have a nice sleep, and wake up in the morning to see your art generated. Today, I'm going to give you a tool just for that, introducing the Agent Scheduler. It was designed just for this specific task, and what you see right now is its GitHub page. All credit for this tool goes to this guy with the unpronounceable name, as well as these amazing contributors. They've designed a tool where you can schedule your generations, even with different models, poses, and extensions, and let them run on a batch. There is a nice guide on their README page, but I decided to give you guys a live demonstration. So to install this, first copy the URL of the GitHub page, then go to the Extensions tab, and then the Install from URL tab, and paste the link right here. Click Install. After the installation, you should be able to see it in your install installed tab, but make sure to click apply and restart UI for the changes to take effect. All right, now that is done. Let's start scheduling our art. Okay, so how do you usually generate an image? You write a prompt, change the settings, hit generate, and voila, you got a nice artwork. But now you might see two new changes to your UI. One, we've got this in queue button below the generate button, and two, we got this agent scheduler tab. Now what if I need variations of this art? What if I want a woman with blonde hair? and multiple images with that along with a woman with silver hair. Normally, you'll need to run separate generations one by one. But here's the trick. Write the prompt here and now hit the in queue button right here. Then write the second prompt you want. In this case, a silver haired woman. Set the bash count to two and hit in queue again. Now, if you go to the agent scheduler tab right here, you can see there is a task running in the task queue. This is, in fact, our second task. In the task history right here, you can see the first task we provided, the art of the blonde haired woman is already complete. Click on it and you'll see your art. There you go. Nice and beautiful. All right. Now the second task is also complete. Click on that and there you go. Two nice artworks from the prompt we provided. This is just the bare bones of what you could accomplish with this. You could even paste complex prompts to this, then change settings such as the width, height, as well as the CFG scale and queue it and then change those settings again. Choose another prompt and queue it again and you'll see the tasks are running really nicely. The first batch is already done. So if I got to task history, there's my artwork. And a few seconds later, here's my second batch. And here are my four images. You can even work with Laura's on this. For example, in this prompt, I have the Laura of Reese from Chainsaw Man loaded, and my next prompt doesn't have a Laura. And there are my two prompts running. Just ignore the very weird artwork. We are trying to merge an anime Laura with a realistic model, so the results are, of course, going to be pretty weird. But other than that, Agent Scheduler does its job. There's my first batch with a very unrealistic Reese. And here's my second batch with a single image of a brown haired woman. And down below, you have the good old four options. You can send this to extras if the art is good, upscale it, and voila, that's some nice art. In case the art is bad, you can click the orange button right here and it will send the command back to the queue. There it will regenerate the image and hopefully give you better results. If it doesn't, you can always try again. And that quick tutorial is on how to automate your stable diffusion workflow with Agent Scheduler. As always, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all in the next video.